Hey, it's Kilo Loco, and welcome to Swift UI Weekly. Today, we're going to be talking about stacks. Since Swift UI focuses on composition over inheritance, what we have to do is we have to break down our UI into smaller pieces and compose them using different smaller views. And the best way to do that is with stacks. Now, there are three different types of stacks. There are V stacks, H stacks, and Z stacks. V stacks are vertical stacks and they group your content from top to bottom along the Y axis. When you specify your V stack, you can specify both the horizontal alignment as well as the spacing between each of those elements. An H stack is a horizontal stack and that's gonna allow you to stack your elements from left to right or from leading to trailing. Just like a V stack, an H stack has spacing which you can specify what kind of space you want between your elements. The alignment is slightly different because it takes in a vertical alignment and there are a lot of options to explore right here. The Z stack or the Z stack allows you to overlay elements on top of each other. The first element that goes into your Z stack will be placed at the very bottom of the stack. The last element in your Z stack will be placed at the very top. Unlike the V stack or the H stack, you cannot specify the space for a Z stack, but you can specify the alignment and the Z stack actually takes in the most possibilities when it comes to the different types of alignment that you can specify. Using these three stacks will allow you to break down your UI into smaller pieces and create the design that you're looking for. Thanks for stopping by Swift UI Weekly. We will see you next week. Keep coding passionately.